Okay, happy fourth. I wanted to go over some of the myths or concerns of, that people have about wine and the reasons why you shouldn't have to fall into that trap or be persuaded. Not to say that that's a bad thing, but no, hey, people have good intentions. The first thing that a lot of people are concerned about is that it's, um, it's bad for your health. And I, I'm here to say that it's, it's not. It's, there is a lot of information out there that's based on opinions. And, and yes, they're, they're going to find facts to back it up. But it's really about um, you know, finding the cleaner type of wines. So that's one thing to consider. The other thing would be the frequency. Um, you know, you, got, you do want to monitor because too much of a good thing is still not good at all. I mean, too much of coffee, too much of sugar, so it can be toxic too. Think about that. I mean, putting things into perspective would really help out a lot. And the third thing is, is that a lot of the mass-produced wines out there really have all of that chemical in, um, you know, intensity and there's a lot of sulfites and a lot of added sugars and, and pesticides. So that multiplies the dangers of, of wine. I would consider, I would strongly suggest that you go and do your research on cleaner type of wines. Uh, healthier vegan wines, it has to be pure vegan, can't have fish bladder or cow guts. So I would really go for a cleaner, healthier wine alternative. So I hope you gathered enough value from all this. Um, I will see you in the next video. Please be sure to share this post and thank you so much for listening.